Okay, Archmage versus Dreadlord. And two farm with tower. This is oh no, three farm. There we go. I'm gonna scout. Footman will probably die. Do you sleep around and kill this footman? I think you do, right? A player's forces are under attack. And Dreadlord. Straight to the expansion. Footman sees the blight. Doesn't know what hero it is just yet. Will Starbuck play one base? I wonder. Ideally, he would play two farm one base. I don't think it's worth it to kill the... Yeah, just creep the camp. I don't think you want to kill that footman. The player's forces are under attack. If anything, you sleep the footman just so it leaves you alone, but he'll probably sleep this guy. He hasn't chosen a skill yet. There we go. Starbuck is just going to expand, as it seems, unless he's creeping level 3. No, this isn't 5 militia, so he's not expanding. He's just building a tower. I am a little bit used. No, he's expanding. Going for 2 base, 2 base versus Dreadlord. Hold. Really unfair that Starbuck has used farms here. True, that is a big advantage to random and human. The access to farms. But Dice is just going to have to deal with it. Ooh, the level 2 Pendant of Energy Dreadlord Wrath. He could do some damage. He's got one more charge on the rod. There's a corpse right here. He's going to go Carrion Swarm. This could be big. The Archmage is going to be level 3, but out of position. Yeah, he gives up the expansion. Oh my lord. Is he going to just tack? He can't tack because he's about to lose 4 Peasants. Still no carrion swarm. Doesn't need it apparently. Ozzy realizes the damage is already done. Water elemental for free. Archmage does staff over, and that expansion's canceled. So who will tech first? Who will tech first? Nice. there ever be a carrion swarm he wants to save his mana for now just one just one carrion swarm there we go those ghouls out loses one ghoul probably gonna lose three no just two archmage comes in there's three in total forces are under attack Mage looking for four Finding them just yet. So this is a ziggurat. And Starbuck finds the ghouls. He'll get both. That's five ghouls in total. Seemed really good for Dice when the expo got cancelled, but then Starbuck knows exactly how to react. He's expanding now again. Expand at all cost. Dreadlord. I'm going to stay here for the rest of the game, probably. Goes towards the expansion. Again, Skelly finds it. Dreadlord's already on his way over there, but how do you defend this? I suppose double Nerubian's a good start. A player's forces are under attack. He could carry in all five. He just chooses not to, realizes maybe he won't get any kills. 12 seconds on the staff for dice. Uh oh. That's a lot of damage. Big denies. He denies his third one. Yeah. 
every footman dies but a lot of damage oh and the tp is going to be forced likely oh. this one's locked in what why are you staffing okay that was just a wasted staff cooldown Expansion's up, but Footman or Lawson, it's still tier one a player's forces for Starbuck. Wanted to force another sleep, but he realized that, I mean, there was another Carrion Swarm. There it is. I don't know if he's going to get many kills, to be honest. Two would be justified, though. With the mana investment. Let's get two, maybe even three. Oops, that one. Cancel the healing. And tech finally started for Starbuck. Nice has no gold, but at least he's got a DK in the slaughterhouse. Be realizing level six is so far away that he should just go try hero. Lumber economy, like, definitely good enough, but he's got no units. Better as well for Starbuck. Might as well, your tech's already so late. Tried to cancel the clarity. He does eventually get it. Surround this footman? No. Bark man, just a lot of mana. Statues up. And it's helping. That one, no. No way of dealing with the Zeppelin. Did he cue a guard for a second? Dreadlord gotta get out, dude. Oh no, Dreadlord's dead. 1 0. Starbuck does get the W in game one. Back and forth, but at the end of the day, it's a pretty short game. Frozen. That's fun. Always fun. I get it, they just surrender. Yeah, technically the way you win in this game is to kill all your opponent's buildings. But when you're no longer able to defend your buildings, similar to chess when you just lay down your, your king, you just say GG and leave the game. Because what's the point of making your opponent kill all the buildings every time? What's up, dude? You know what I'm saying? Okay, just waiting for Starbuck. Going up. Map 2 is going to be Shallow Grave. We'll have a different matchup. Pretty sure. There's no way we get the same map. Or at least reverse races. And like I said, that might be worst case scenario for Dice. I don't know how he feels about all the races he plays, but Starbuck is really good in that matchup. So good that it's not even him playing random. He like just knows the matchup well enough to play it at the top level. It's not like, you know, when you see an orc player and they just build headhunters because they don't really know how to play orc, but they're good enough to just make headhunters work. Starbuck isn't doing that with human against undead. He's legitimately playing the matchup properly, um, which is difficult to do. Maybe in Dice's shoes. But it will be a different match.
are watching today, I'm learning. Well, ask ask away, whatever whatever you'd like to know, just ask. That's what well, people in chat definitely love answering questions, and I, for one, also love answering questions because it makes me feel smart, and I need to feel smart in at least one walk of life. Game two. What's the matchup? Let's see. Orc for dice. Undead for Starbuck. Back to his roots. Good matchup. A fun matchup. A matchup most people enjoy these days, isn't it? To watch. Will it be Farseer? Probably, right? I doubt he's going to play Blade against Random. For Starbuck... Is it DK? Or will he play Dreadlord? Will he play Lich? Lich would be really bad. I mean, I know Lich has been played against Farseer in the past, but these days I just don't think it's very good. And it is Farseer Headers for dice. And it is for Starbuck. Probably DK, right? No Dreadlord? Okay. A perfectly legitimate hero choice from both sides. The Acolyte Scout confirming for both players what the race is. This will also confirm for Dice that he needs to harass, most likely, not creep. He go for the Grunt just in case he needed to creep, though. A player's forces are under attack. Why don't Farseer players sell TV and get shop additional army on Tier 1? Um, well, he'd have to go to the shop right now to sell his TP, which is a huge waste of time. And also, you're not limited by gold, but lumber on tier one. As far as I can remember, red lord creeping. The Mert camp and the Farseer harasses the wolf. Faces the acolyte, I guess. I don't know where it went. Red lord gets the troll. Front going deep. Ice could be tacking right now. Okay, how many Acolytes can fall? Two Acolytes that I would say, who cares about the TP? Wakes up. Oh, the target fire on the Nerubian wasn't there. Okay, Farseer wakes up. And then he gets one kill. He's gonna let the Farseer die now. Okay, one Acolyte is not enough. But it certainly delays the economy if Starbuck wanted to go for an expansion. A player's forces are under attack. Now you just creep scroll the beast as well. Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. Oh, Anna. Oh, again. Level 2 for the Dreadlord. Would have preferred to replenish with potion. We'll go back for items soon enough. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, time to expand. It'll be very late. He's not going to have an expansion up until almost seven minutes. Nearly. No items, just a staff teleportation. Good timing from dice, though. Scroll the beast. Last sleep, this is the last one. He has a chain lightning, does use it. Farseer dies. 
Ghoul also dies. Priest is also dead. Creeping wasn't finished. Is this Farseer sacrifice worth it, actually? Honestly, yes. I mean, he didn't need to lose it. He could have. There is potential to not lose the Farseer there, but... I think worth. <laughs> okay, level 3 Dreadlord, however. Like, tier 2 is almost done. I think you go TC Raider Walker and just all in the expansion. Tell me I'm crazy. Or Fire Lord, even. Could go Fire Lord. He's going to go Fire Lord. Starbuck is now attacking. A player's forces are under attack. So level 2 Farseer dies to stop the expansion. Those Raider Walker and Tier 3. I love it. Of course, Walkers, you could argue, are necessary against Dreadlord. But might not be. And I like that he's waiting dice to queue up his second hero before he creeps this. Oh no, he isn't. He starts to Shadow Hunter. A little bit, a little bit of wasted experience, but he still has level three. Let you guys debate whether or not that five seconds of the Shadow Hunter was worth fifteen percent less experience on the farms here. The regen, by the way, is excellent for the Dreadlord. I keep that for the rest of the game. Yeah, you get a 15% experience boost on tier 2 with a solo hero, and once you queue up a second hero, you lose that immediately, even if the hero is finished being trained. Past level 4 now. Great. Gonna be done, but tier 2 is also done. Temple and Slaughterhouse. And double temple. Oh, you dirty boy. Walkers. Very necessary. Yeah, so you'll often see players like. This used to happen a lot in Night Elf vs. Human, um, where the Night Elf player would be defending a human's pressure, like Footman and Archmage and Water Elementals, with just a solo keeper. And they, the human would be in their base right around the time they hit tier 2 because they want to cancel lures. And they'd be just throwing a lot of footmen and water elementals away into the night elf base to delay the lures. And we are seeing night elf players not start queuing their demon hunter up because they wanted to get the experience on their keeper. Because why wouldn't you get so many footmen and water elemental kills if not that experience is just wasted? That's something we've seen pretty commonly in the past. Not that a high level keeper winning anyone games, but saw that all the time before. Building mask, wait, okay. I thought, this, I thought this inventory was the Dreadlord's inventory. I was like, he's got no TP. Yes. Tiny Great Hall. Immediately, this is looking pretty good for dice. Oh, cancel both temples. Attack. Was it scouted or did he just give up? I don't know. Level 5 Dreadlord is what's going to save this game for Starbuck. He also wants level 3 DK. Hard to say. Lots of creeping to be done. The dead. Not good, there's walkers. Where are the peons? Oh no. Every second these peons don't move is wasted gold. Let's say this, this tiny gray hall start it finished what, 20 seconds ago? 25 seconds ago? 250 gold. 300 gold. Oh, 
or on her gold. Player's forces are under attack. Oh, 600 gold loss. You could argue he needed the lumber, but he could buy just a shredder. Right? Could have just bought a shredder. 600 gold loss from that mistake, but now it'll be saturated. Lumber's going to be low, though. Make no doubt. Going to eventually need to get a shredder, but he needs to break upkeep for it. But he might just have to do it. He's got 100 lumber now, and it's going to take him ages to get 100 lumber again with only two peons working. So I think you just get the shredder, break upkeep immediately. He's done. Starbuck is going to go for a timing. And Dreadlord's almost level 5. But look at the counterattack from Dice, just to buy time for himself. He did get the Shredder, right? He did, didn't he? I don't know. Yeah, there it is. It's gonna be a tough game for Starbuck. He needs to do something right now. Ooh, I like the, the ghouls set up. Or if they get into a fight, he'll just send the ghouls down. Torns are tier 3, the tier 2 team should not go through on the PPR for Torns. Even though Dice had to break upkeep for the Shredder, I think it was wise to break upkeep as well. Just looking at the timings, how they're lining up now. It's going to be really tough for Starbuck. If the Dreadler gets, gets level 5 immediately, before he uses any mana... There's double heal scroll. There's a shadow hunter level three. There's one mana stealing. A lot of tools to deal with it. Looking like one one. A player's forces are under attack. There's level five. That's what he wanted before fighting. I think you build another Torin. Two dice. We'll statue out of position. Good start to the fight. Float, use. This is going to do a lot of damage, though. Goes for the walker now, Book of the Dead. Yep, there it is. Oh, focus on the Dreadlord. Where's the coil? He lands it. Oh, but it still might be dying. Sleep on the Farseer. He should have slept the Shadow Hunter though. He was trying to deny the Chain Lightning. But the positioning is terrible. And the Dreadlord barely gets out, and so much damage was taken to try to focus that Dreadlord. Oh no. And Dreadlord's back in action now. Carrion Swarm. Carrion Swarm. Oh my god. Shadow Hunter dies. It's 2 0. Really? There should be no way Starbuck wins this game, but he's barely even lost a unit. All Dice had to do, I would argue, would be just fight the army. I mean, I respect the Dreadlord focus. He nearly got it. He probably should have, but he could have just fought the army and won the game. Starbuck gets the 2-0. Jeez. Yeah, focusing heroes is a gamble. Fighting units is guaranteed. And that's why, typically, you'll just go fight the army. You should only really focus heroes when you're desperate, and there's no reason for Dice to be desperate there. It really wasn't. That 2 0. And we're going to Twisted Meadows. Yeah, Dice also, yeah, didn't have to fight there. I think that's a good point. Like, he had, like, Starbuck had to push and win the game. But Dice could have delayed as much as possible. Always in those positions, delay as much as possible. Don't fight until you absolutely have to. 
and be as prepared for the fight as you possibly can be with items and as high supplies you can get. Best positioning as you can get. And just use every tool. Speed scroll in, talent portal in, use a protection scroll. You know, yeah. But yeah, that's also a good point. Dice should have won that game. Let's just say that. He, he should have. Regardless, though. Number three. I see it. One player got human. Which player is it? Starbuck. In the upper left with human, in the bottom right with orc. Nice. We have a repeat of what happened earlier. Seems to be a fast tech. Nice. Which is what he did earlier against Sheik. Luckily for him, earlier though, Sheik kind of messed up the lab creep. I doubt Starbuck will screw up his lab creep this game. Being the experienced human player that he is. Hey, congrats, Dennis. Dope. As we say in Canada, it is dope. That's tech. And let's see how this goes. So good, Farseer. Going across, of course. A player's force. Nobody's gonna run into. But he should run straight to the lab, I do wonder. Yeah, it looks like he's doing that. Best item a human can get, plus six intelligence, which is what he gets. And the tome. That's really good. Plus eight damage already. And way more mana. Water elemental. Gets it. And a peasant. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe a resummon of wolves soon. There it is. It actually expired, so the efficient usage. Starbuck expand, it seems likely. This is almost tier two. I'll go for the TC double beast here. Have to guess. Forces are under attack. Militia, here we go. Plus eight damage, look at this. Uh oh. Oh no, that's no good at all. He's gonna let it die, or he wouldn't have resummoned like that. Denies! Pretty good. Still, it's gonna be level 3 Archmage. Only one peasant has died the whole game, and the expansion is going to come up. Very, very difficult for dice. So we've really gotten a 3 0. Seems like it.
Could you be in a better position? Maybe. But not by much. Still, we saw the power of Orc earlier. Mass Raiders. Whoop. Starbuck's really good with these surrounds. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. And force already done. That's early. Oh, sorry, I missed it. I knew he was gonna surround it, then I misclicked. <laughs> I was like, I see the footman moving. But he gets out. Dialing up, okay. And is done. And snare's done as well. A player's forces are under attack. Experience for the TC. He's gonna deny. Watch this. Let's get it. So much delay. But it's easy for Starbuck to overcommit with Footman now that there's gonna be like three, four raiders out. You could just lose every Footman. For no gain other than delay, which is what they're for, but. Maybe just a TP forced, actually. That was the third and snare. Gets it. And he just loses the Arc Mage? That's a mistake. The Shockwave didn't even hit. He just straight up didn't TP. But two Raiders also died. <laughs> Two Footman faded. Haven't revived? Let's come back. Already level 2 TC. Yeah, I would say Dice is back in it. If he continues his pressure. Pillage on the way, perfectly timed. Goes towards the main, which is going to be under towered. Better. Repairing, but pillage actually isn't done yet, so he's not getting gold yet. It's, it's you gotta give credit. Like his, the pillage timing is pretty good, you guys. He's losing a little bit of gold, but oh, PP gonna be forced probably. Don't take too much damage on the Archmage. He doesn't. And Mountain King's on the way. That's a big deal. And now that he's forced to TP, pivots to the expansion. Sim City's not great. There's only two arcane towers. And have all the ensnares been used? I don't think so. No, he's trying to get as much surface area as he can. He's going to get the town hall. One more ensnare cooldown. Goes down, and now a TP is going to be forced. Please TP. He doesn't TP? <laughs> he was looking at other things. And now the Shredder's dead, and the Mountain King's only now coming out. And Orc is Imba. <laughs> just go build Raiders. Just build Raiders. I don't care how far behind you are. Just build Raiders. Oh, he didn't have the TP. Oh, he didn't have the gold for the TP. Sorry. They did have tier 2 in a shop next to him, that's why I told him the TV. Ideally, you'd like to clean up all these footmen before having to get out of here. Okay, and he is. I don't think this Farsu is at risk of dying. Level 3, and GG. <laughs> Orc is just broken, you guys. Orc's just broken. Build Raiders. Well done, well done with the comeback. And we got a series of it. Could have sold items to buy it? Yeah. Bell boots and staff. Real. 
saw that coming? Yeah, I know, right? Wait, has Orc lost yet today? Have we seen Orc lose? I'm trying to remember. Oh, right, of course, on Shallow Grave in this very series, yeah. We're going to Hammerfall. Game number four. We do have a serious Simon indeed. All right. Game number four. What will the matchup be? Random versus random. You never really know. Here we go. Game number four. Another human. But it's dice this time. And in the bottom right with Undead at Starbuck. We've seen this matchup, but with reverse rolls. Oh, no, we haven't, actually. No, Starbuck did play Dreadlord earlier, right? Oh, no, but it was Dreadlord against Orc. And then Dice played Dreadlord against Starbuck's human. Yes, okay. Yeah, we haven't had this matchup yet. Only had it with reverse races. Yeah, we haven't seen an elf yet. Like, if Dice gets elf, he's got a really, really good chance against all of Starbuck's races. So imagine he ties it up here, and then he gets elf. What I would like to see is, is Dice tied up here, and then the last match, Elf vs. Orc. Ooh, that's what I want to see. The Starbucks Orc is really good. I want to see Dice guys main race at least one time, because Starbucks main race is random. I have to make it to the Undead first, which was once Starbucks main race, way back in the day. Death Knight. No Dreadlord this time, and Arknight. So it should be pretty close to a free expansion. A player's forces are under attack. Not being up against Nova. Acolyte sees the footman. They both know what up. I just might be thinking it might be a Dreadlord. It was earlier. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna creep the expo with two ghouls. Oh no, never mind. Oh maybe. Oh never mind. Oh maybe. I don't know what he's doing. Player's forces are under attack. Sudden craving for macaroni salad. Really, really good. Love that. Maybe I'll just drink a bottle of vinegar. That's pretty much what macaroni salad tastes like. So sweet. Level 2 for the Archmage, with Claws and the Slippers now. One Peasant. Here two on the way for Starbuck, trying to delay as much as he can this expansion. Should get the Brute. He needs to defensively coil though, now Dice can clean up this brute. That's the tone. Oh, coil lands, but that means the ghoul's gonna be traded. Probably not a worthwhile trade. Absolutely not, I would say, actually. And I would say this is not going well for Starbuck. He's out of mana. He's got one charge of rod. Gets that last hit, sure, but the expansion should just be free for dice. He is getting a... He's, he's delaying enough that his tech is going to have a big impact this game, though. So Starbuck doesn't really care about how many peasants he can kill. He just cares about delaying the expansion as long as possible so that he can hit a tier 3 timing. No doubt. Doesn't coil that.
one coil. And this guy does so much damage, and he gets it. Really nicely done with Starblock. He actually turns this into a really good harass. Punch a potion. Archimedes should try to get one skeleton. That'd be level three, and then he could just run across the map and counter pressure. Yeah, and now Star our uh, dice should just go across the map. He knows the DK is low. He knows the DK has no mana, and he just got level three. So I would say leave like two footmen and a water elemental, and then just run across the map with your Archmage. That's the that's the best play here. That's absolutely the best play. Speed. He leaves. He doesn't leave a water elemental, but he leaves four footmen. Should be enough to defend any sort of split ghouls. He finds the DK. I like the movement of the Death Knight, though, saying, Chase my DK. Don't go to my main base, please. A town is under siege. Maybe Dice misplayed this a little bit. This Pokemon card in your binder? I never collected Pokemon cards, but my brother did have a, a Charizard in like 1999. So I wonder how OG that is. Not being killed would mean no statues. Stabilizing and gets the shop. Another rod was purchased, but that means no statues. A statue is not queued up. You can only build a meat wagon off this guy right now. A player's forces are under attack. Kofi, I give the uh, 19 months. Appreciate you. How you doing? Or Kofi? Kofi. Yeah, I think Kofi. Appropriate. Oh, DK should be dead. Or no, TP's okay. He does have a TP. Water Elemental, one attack! No, it's dead before the DK comes back. Kalfi? A player's forces are under attack. A classic DK struggle. The counterattack just ruins you as undead. It's always the most difficult time in the in this matchup, I would say, is after you harass the expansion and the human player gets level three, then they run into your base. That defense is the hardest part of this matchup, um, I would say in general, but especially when you're playing Death Knight. That one. Now what do you do, Starbuck? This is looking like a tied series. Your three only now on the way. First statue only now going to be started. Push on the vulnerability. Spirit Tower Players is up, but no Nerubian? Uh oh. Yeah, this is very, very difficult for Starbuck. Has a Shredder as well, he's getting towers. Garg is out. Nice reaction. Easy to forget about the possibility of the Garg when we're trying to deal with the Zeppelin. Gonna have to be a TP. How many footmen is he gonna lose? I guess he's just buying time for his towers. Push him vulnerability. It's only level one coil. Okay, he gets the shop, which is actually going to delay not only orb but destroyer form, which secures Dice's timing. Starbuck can no longer go for any sort of tier three timing. He might have to just expand. I think Starbuck goes here and. Wants his gold mine. He just knows he killed every footman. He knows the Archmage is low. He knows there's no TP. He should just expand, right? Yeah, six acolyte. Perfect. There we go. A 
this isn't the optimal choice. The optimal choice would have been to hit a Destro time at extra three, but not gonna be able to. Hero levels are good. Lich is gonna be free. Trying to cancel a shop again. This is really nice awareness from Dice. I think that human players don't actually prioritize the shop enough when they play against Undeads. Like, killing the shop is massive in this matchup, especially. Or really in general, but, like, I think, like, honestly, sappering the shop, if you have maps with a lab is easily accessible like that, like, sappering the shop before they hit tier 3, I think, is a move that should almost be standard. But that's, you know, just theoretical. Probably not likely, because one Nova and the sapper's dead. Oh, uh-oh. It's surrounded. But the DK and the Lich are level 3. Fights his way out. Another bolt. Lucian. Oh, Nova to slow down the MK, but the bolt should get off. No, just barely out of range. Drop only now getting up. Destro form and orb. Not accessible. Expansion's coming up, though. Three, three. Done. Two flying machines, and then he'll go for two tanks. All they should have to do is creep a couple camps while he waits for Tier 3 and his Paladin to come out. Once the Paladin's out, grab Staff, grab Orb, get two Knights, get two tanks. Go win the game. Push this expansion and win the game. Double attack. Temple and Dreadlord, the happy special. Big fan of that. Starbucks doing everything he should be doing. But if Dice does everything right, it shouldn't be enough. Let's say, let's put it that way. Knights, Paladin, Flat Cannons. Flat Cannons before tanks. Interesting. Is he just skipping tanks entirely? I don't think he should. He should always build at least two tanks. Already plus two for the Knights. And this harass is good. Even if he has to burn the TP, he's stopped Starbuck from power creeping. He's bought a little bit of time for himself, and he can reconsolidate. Everything. Oh no, don't lose the Mountain King. Oh, that's rough. Losing the Mountain King is not great. Oh, and losing a Knight. Oh, Dice, you're screwing up here, big boy. Oh, Destro? Saves it. I mean, that move was fine, but losing the MK like that was not. And the Knight was especially not. Because it, the Knight was even less necessary than the Mountain King. Player's forces are under attack. No tanks, I stress again. Holy Light in the Water Elemental, why not? You just staff a flying machine out. Okay, it's fine. A player's forces are under attack. Yep, skipping tanks, okay. So I would like to see Arcane Sanctum at least one from Dice because he's overbuilding knights potentially into lots of banshees. And he knows about the banshees, right? He scouted them. Favorite anime from the 90s, Sailor Moon? Of course it's Sailor Moon. Digimon was also sick. I I, I like Digimon. Unironically, it was, it was pretty dope. First season of Yu-Gi-Oh? When they're on that boat? Are you kidding me? A 
I also watch Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball. That is off cooldown. Getting banshees. Before master training, this is nice. And maybe a little bit over aggressive from Starbuck. Like, why is he fighting? Why does he have his banshees here, at least, let's say? Gets a knight, though. But lost a lot of banshees. Lost a lot of units. Look at the supply. That's on cooldown. For seven seconds after this potion of invulnerability wears off. TP swapped. But has a Nova. There's a mortar team with it. First season of Yugo was like one episode on the boat. I don't know. I just remember the episode on the boat. I was a child. No possession or else that knight would be gone. Do people just not build breakers anymore? Do they really just try to counter the banshees with pure mortar teams and they just don't build any breakers? Like I would figure three knights, breakers, mortar team, flying machine. Isn't that the perfect army or am I just wrong about the matchup these days? Do you really need more than three knights? Force and Divine Shield, attack. big fan of that. Who cares about the aura? Go Divine Shield. The defense is skip nice and do Griffins. Yeah, Griffins is cool. But aren't Breakers just better against Banshees? I guess then they go A-bombs with Disease Cloud, and then it gets confusing, and then Griffins are better. Yeah, I guess, yeah. There's so much counterplay when it comes to unit compositions. Power Rangers? Yeah, I, I did watch Power Rangers a lot as well. That's not really anime, but Power Rangers is so good. The movie as well. It's Ivan Ooze. What was that called? I forget. That's like the OG movie though. Time to pay the piper or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm talking about. Classic. Classic banger of the movie. Level 3 Dreadlord. This army is really strong for dice and his positioning is even stronger. How many possessions do we have? Ooh. Dodging the Carrion Swarm. Possession! Drop the mortar teams. Kill it! Doesn't. I think he stapped out the knight that was getting possessed, though. I was paying so much attention. He gets all the mortar teams. The Zeppelin Micro is beautiful, by the way. Zeppelin Micro is absolutely beautiful. And I think, even though it was a struggle, Dice rightfully wins this game. Staff. Three seconds. Zeppelin again. Zeppelin again! <laughs> Mountain King drops. Stormbolt. Can the knights reach? Water Elemental certainly can. Oh, the Zeppelin. And the Paladin died, but the MK and the Archmage get out. Importantly. I he needed one Garg. He did have one Garg earlier, didn't he? I don't know if it died or if he just didn't use it here. He did have one Garg. He built one this game. Still a chance for Starbuck if Dice just throws his heroes away. He gets back in the tavern, by the way. Not a lot of mortar teams, so possession again becomes really good. Use the heal scroll. Paladin's back. And then possessions come through. Mortar teams are here again. Possession no longer really that viable.
Fashion. Staff off cooldown. Okay, Banshee dies though. Yeah, Starbuck has no options anymore. There's too many knights and none of Banshees. And we're going to game five. Will we get Orc versus Night Elf? Okay, Dice playing Night Elf, Starbuck attack. playing Orc. That's how I want to end this. I mean, Starbuck, you know, I mean, Dice should get Night Elf at least once. It's only fair. This is Starbuck's main race. It's random. He's a random player. Plays random versus the best, and he wins, you know? Dice rightfully should get Night Elf one time in five games. I want to see it. I want to see it versus Zork. Game five. When's the last time we had a game five in these cups? You got? And map five is Concealed Hill, right? But like, Concealed Hill is a good map. Concealed Hill is a good map. And that's going to be our fifth map. That was a pretty solid game, like, for both players playing random, played it pretty well. No tanks, which I was a little sad about, but, and you know, obviously DK is not optimal against human, you want to play Lich. Game five, last game of the day. What will the races be? What will the races be? I'm gonna come down to this. <laughs> okay. This is really how we end it. Okay, guess what matchup we <laughs> This is how we're ending this? Just guess just guess. Just guess. Actually, I'm doing a prediction. Wait, I can't do a prediction, there's too many matchups. Here, I'll do I'll do a prediction before you guys see the race. I'll do a prediction for who wins. Who will win game five? Oops. Did I close chat? God damn it. Close my chat. Okay. Who will win game five? Prediction. Who will, will win game five? Will it be Dice? Will it be Starbuck? 30 seconds before you guys see the races. I'm not showing you guys the races, okay? You guys gotta vote blind. Here's gambling. You guys wanna gamble? Here's gambling. The super degenerate of you would have checked flow to see what the races they got were. Oh no, you can't even check flow yet, because it doesn't tell you the races and it's on a delay, right? Here's game five. All in. <laughs> Degenerates. Human mirror. Dice gets human in the upper right and bottom left. Starbuck also gets human. <laughs> You check flow. Kevin, you check flow? What's the fun in that? Claws. And ring. Starbuck is the better human player of these two, but... I just proved last game he's pretty he's pretty solid. I was actually right, I was kidding. Oh yeah. <laughs> I doubt anyone did that. They only had 30 seconds to do it. A player's forces are under attack. Starbucks main, honestly random, but he plays human probably most often these days. I would say he went from playing undead to orc to human. I don't think he's ever main mode out. Guess we'll get ads in five minutes. There's nothing I can do about it. Better creep route from Starbuck. It's the greater mana. He did a reaction creep route. Generally in human mirror, you'll always go for the lab first, but since you don't know what race you're up against, you don't go for the lab. I did it second. 
And now he's gonna militia creep the green. This is a lot better for Starbuck. He's gonna be level three a lot earlier. Level three. And Dice is nowhere near level three. He just did the worst creep route. Much worse creep route. A game like this is a game winning creep route for Starbuck. What are you supposed to do? You hide in your base. There's a greater mana as well. I think you use the greater mana, don't you? There it is. Oh no. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough for Dice. He's got to hold on without losing too much. Somehow. Because he's never going to be level 3 Archmage. It's never going to happen. What can you creep to get level 3 Archmage at this? Like, are you going to just casually creep the lab or your expansion while he's in your base? No. You have to hold this with level 2 against level 3. How do you do that? You focus his Archmage. All the way. Players' forces are under attack. I see held. One thing Dice has going for him a slightly faster tech. That was two footmen from Starbuck or one from each, but. He just needs one footman kill to get level three. And then he'll have held this. He's taking so much damage already. Is this the footman kill? Is this the one? Nope. Finally, it's level three, somehow. He killed a footman over here at the fountain for level three. <laughs> That's pretty lucky. Finally. This is all just because of the creep route. This shows you the importance of creep routes. This is it. This is the reason this is happening is because of the creep route. Great tier three for both players. Mountain King's almost out. You gotta be careful of this. Backs away on time. Alright, Dice lives. Yeah, this was an insane hold by Dice. The fact that he didn't just lose against the greater mana and the huge level disadvantage is very, very, very impressive. And it's even like a playable game. He's got a couple of footmen. The Mount King levels are going to be even. The tech is even. His lumber is probably going to be okay. Like it's a playable game for Dice. Somehow. A player's forces are under attack. There is more footmen for Starbucks, so he's going to be able to creep a lot quicker. Let's lose a footman. But Starbuck can afford to lose these footmen and creep many things. This amount of sapling. Is this over aggressive? It might be. He should probably just take his creeping advantage. Like, he could get level 3 before Dice could get level 3, and then he could fight. He's got some equipment left in his base. I didn't realize those. Now I can heal him up. Well, I don't agree with the Zeppelin. PBH. But maybe he'll do something big with it.
Could have canceled healing with that. I was going to die anyway. Cancels the workshop there. Okay. If and when Dice holds this, he should go straight to the lab, creep it, and get a shredder. Should be healed by the other priest. I don't take too much damage on the Zeppelin. Yeah, him taking that much damage on the Zeppelin means he can not really threaten any longer with it. He's kind of got to leave. Whereas if he kept it fully healthy, he would still be able to threaten the base drop. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, I think you got to go create the lab. Gonna get a flying machine. Six versus thirty-two. Lumber is not a problem. Ooh, he's gonna actually creep the paladin at the same time as the harass. Big fan, big fan of this play. The town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. It's gonna be a TP soon. an insta level 2 though. First night finally on the way. Alden is going to be really late. I suppose as long as you creep in the Mountain King to 3 and the Archmage to 4, you don't need to get the Paladin just yet. Could be really difficult for dice. All because of the creep route. Can't stress this enough. My poor channel points, why'd you do predictions? <laughs> you went for the mega gamble. You went for the dice's got night elf gamble. When really a gambling man would have bet Starbucks. An optimal gambler would have bet Starbuck. Pi is even. Is Inner Fire done? No, for neither player, but it's on the way for Starbuck, who's also expanding. Yeah. It's the hero levels, though. Well, the Paladin level 2, the Archimedes level 4, that's a big deal. But not an impossible fight once Dice also has us a Paladin. You can always make your way out in a human mirror. You really can. You may not think you can, but you definitely can. Expansion's up. We have a shredder? Good. There we go. Yeah, Starbuck can sit here all day. Fire down. The player's forces are under attack. Well, this position is not good. Oh, has aura, by the way, not divine shield, which in human mirror makes sense. Militia being called, that helps. It's preemptive holy light on that priest, but it probably should still die. Archmage! Holy lit. Is it holy lit or holy lighted? That should be on cooldown. There it is. Holy litten. He gets holy litten. This is where that level 2 aura comes into play.
the expansion behind this the entire time. Oh, Mountain King. Not going to be bolted, but will be blocked. Staff is not off cooldown. Five seconds. It should be able to be staffed. Staff. What? Archmage, go back. What? Oh, no. Was he not aware? And that is Starbuck getting the win. <laughs> Three to two. A close series, but the human mirror was too much for dice. What a way to end. <laughs> so exciting, so exciting. And then he wins with the creep route. But Starbuck was expected to win this today, and he did. Times human in final, dragged, true. There's a lot of human in this final. And not enough orc. Oh, the fuck? Oh. All right, let me pay out that prediction for you guys. <laughs> there you guys go.